your video and that trigonometric found sheet. Alright, so that is that. Okay, so we have the S, we have the Y, we have the Y. Here it represents opposite hypotenuse and the Y adjacent. Alright, you are used to these things already. So now what we have here is a distance one formula. We know that a distance is what? The change in S squared plus what? The change in what? Y squared. Alright. But in this case, the distance, we are going to represent the distance by what? The radius. That is what? The distance. Because to move from here to here is the same as you moving from here to this side. So, that is that. But know that this R we have here is greater than what? Zero. This means that distance is never what? Negative. There is no way that you can get a distance to be negative. And uh, I'm praying to hope to see that distance. <laughs> Alright, so now the six trigonometric functions of theta are we have sine theta, we have cos theta, we have uh, tan theta, we have set second, second theta. We also have cosecant, cosecant, cosecant. We also have so we have sine, we have cosine, we have tangent, we have second, cosecant, and the one last one is what cotangent. 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 All right. Notes. Notes. Right, right, right. Notes, notes. Now, if we let, if we let S and Y, know that if you let S and Y, that is S comma Y, be a point other than the origin on the terminal side of an angle. Theta in standard position. Theta in standard position. The distance from the point of the origin, R is equal to square root of S squared plus Y squared. The six trigonometric functions of theta will be as follows. Where is it that I'm going to get sine Sin theta, we are going to get sin theta to be y over r. Okay? Then 2, we are going to get cos theta. Normally, people use so cat 2. That's what I'm using here. So ka 2. So, so is opposite over what? Hypotenuse. So opposite is y, hypotenuse is what? R. That's why we have y over R. So cos theta 2 will be adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So s over R. 3. Tan theta. Tan theta 2 will be y over s. That is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. So we get y over s. 4. We also have, alright, so these are the three trigonometric functions. The other three that we have from here to here is the reciprocal identities. So let's go for cosec, cosec theta. Cosec theta is the reciprocal for sine. So here, because of the x here, sine. So here we get R over Y, that is the reciprocal identity. Five, cos, let's go for sec theta, sec theta. And uh, if sec, uh, cos is S over R, here will be R over S. Lastly, cot, cot, cot theta. And if this is Y over A, this is going to be S over Y. All right. Okay, but it is important for you to know that 
Here, the x cannot be equal to zero. The y cannot be equal to zero. The x cannot be equal to zero. And the y cannot be equal to zero. Because if that be equal to zero, the function will be undefined. All right, so let's try this. Right, the terminal side of an angle, the terminal side, the terminal side of an angle, theta in standard position passes through the points, passes through the points. Passes through the point 815. It's not a time. 815. Where 815 is, y represents the 15. Find the values of the six trigonometric functions of the angle. Find x. Quick. Quick. So the first thing to do is to draw that. Okay? Because this is positive values, so it will be on the first part. It will be here because if you have a graph, the x values will come here and the positive values will come here. So plotting this point will be on this side. This represents the x and uh, this represents the what? The y. So why, how can we get the 50? Sorry, the r. Because if we have r, Getting these things is not difficult. So we need to first go for the R. We know R is equal to square root of 1. S square plus 4. Y square. So R is equal to 8 square plus 15 square. And that is going to give us 17. 17. So the radius is what? 17. Alright. So. For you to find this, the sign is y over r. So we get 15 over 17. And the cos is s over r. And we get 8 over 17. And the tan is y over s. So we get 15 over 8. Please continue with the rest. <laughs> Alright, so that is that. That is that. Make sure you continue. All right. Oh, I should complete for you. Then I'll give you one to try. Okay. R over Y. R over Y. So 17 over 15. R is 17 over S. 8. S over R. S 8 over S over Y, which is 15. Alright, so try on this. The terminal side of an angle in standard position passes through the point. Passes through the point. Negative 3, negative 4. Find the values of the six trigonometric functions of angle theta. So you have to do that, alright? But you have to be careful because this one will be... You have to stretch it, okay? So plotting this point, where will it be? It will be somewhere here. It will be somewhere here. It will be somewhere here. here. Alright. So... As we said, we have been able to, we have been able to, succeed in finding all the trigonometric functions. So, let's move to another thing. And that is, Alright, let's look at finding trigonometric values using equation of a line. 
finding trigonometric values using equation of a line. Using equation of a line. So uh, we can also find trigonometric values of an angle if we know the equation of the what? If you know the equation of the line coinciding with the terminal ray. So let's look at this example to project what we really mean here. Alright? So let me write the question. Find the six trigonometric function. Function. Function values. Of the of the angle of the angle theta of the angle theta in standard in standard position in standard position if if the terminal if the terminal side if the terminal side of theta is defined by s plus 2y is equal to 0, where s is greater than or equal to 0. Alright, so let's look at that, let's look at that, let's look at that. So it's not always that we can use a point to get the trigonometric what? equations. Oh, sorry, <laughs> functions. Okay. So we have solution. We have been given that s plus two y is equal to zero, where s is greater than or equal to what? Zero. This means that. S cannot be what? Zero. Okay? S cannot be what? So this means that S cannot be zero. Okay, so now, let's choose any point for, sorry, any value for S. Because we are saying that S is greater than or equal to a zero. That means that it can be one, it can be two, it can be three, it can be four. Okay? So you can choose any of it that you like. But for me, I would like to let s be equal to 2. So if s is equal to 2, let's see what y is going to be. 2 plus 2, y is equal to 0. So 2, y is equal to negative 2. So divide here by 2, divide here by 2, y is equal to negative 1. Therefore, it means that we are using the point 2, negative 1. You can also choose y to pair s to be 3 in any of it, provided it's not a negative word, value. Alright, so with this point, please, you know that this point lies on the terminal or side of the, of the angle. So you draw, you start by drawing, you start by drawing that S is positive will be here, but Y is negative will be down here. So we are going to get it here. We are going to get that here. So it is going to be 2 and it is going to be negative 1. Here is R. So use, use R is equal to square root of S squared plus Y squared to find the R. And then after that, you should be able to get all the trigonometric what functions for sine, cosine, and cos theta, tan, and all that. Alright, so in 
summary, in summary, all that we have done is that we have been able to find the distance r, okay, of what? A point, all right? And also finding all the trigonometric what? Functions. Finding all the trigonometric what? Functions. All right, so that is that. Now, in our next video, we are going to look at quadrilateral and reciprocal angles. So, prepare and see you for that video.